believe in analysis. So Maurice Bucay in France was given 50 million francs to write a book and condemn Islam. They asked him to write a book about Islam and condemn Islam. He said, look, all right, I'm going to do it, but I want the Quran. So they gave him the Quran in France, in the French language. He read the Quran in French. He said, no, I've got to understand the Arabic language. You know what he did? A scientist. He took the Quran in Arabic, read the English book, so he went to Yemen. He stayed in Yemen for three years. He studied the Yemeni Arabic dialect. Then he came to Egypt for two years. He studied the Arabic dialect in Egypt. Then he came to, he went to five different, he spent 10 years. Out of the 10 years, eight years researching the Arabic language. You see how they think? Once he's done, it took him two years to cross-examine the Quran. Wallahi, once Maurice Bukhari was done, he came to France. There's a place called Marseille. Is it Marseille? Marseille. So that's where they have the head of the Paris club. These are scientists, intellectuals, but they don't believe in Allah that much. But they don't like the way Islam is taking shape. So they say for him to write a book and condemn Islam because he's one of the best minds in Europe. If he says Islam is terrible, they will accept. So he it's okay. Two years he wrote about whatever he researched on Islam. So he came back to the Paris club like this, and they were sitting down, and he said, I've got so many data on the work that you gave it me to do. He said, before I tell you what I've collected about Islam, I will say this to you. Ashadu Allah ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. Wallahi. But it's because he became a Muslim in front of his own people. They get angry. You know how they do? They were angry. He said, wait, wait, wait. Who are you? You're a scientist, right? They say, yeah, I'm a scientist too. But I've got the chance. For 10 years, I have meticulously analyzed the Quran from step by step. Everything is done. I'm done. Believe me. No human being will be able to write a book like the Quran in the 7th century. Impossible. He said, not Muhammad, not the Sahaba, none. You can't write the information in the Quran. He said, for anyone to write a book like the Quran, that person has to have an encyclopedic mind. How are you going to get it up to the mind? He said, for anyone to write a book like the Quran, that person has to have an encyclopedic mind, which is impossible. Because the information in the Quran is beyond the 7th century. It is beyond 7th century. He said, the Quran is such that if it, the Quran pass away, pass around you, you have to go and have a look at second thought. He said, Muhammad couldn't read the Quran. And I'm a scientist. And you trust me. You believe in me. And I've analyzed the Quran. Believe me. He didn't write the book. So they asked him, who wrote the Quran? He said, I believe Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, and the Prophet, they came from the same school. Wallahi, Maurice Bikal. So his social science people, they cut him off. They cut him off. They took away his lances. Then he wrote another book. The Genesis of Man. That where did man come from? You should get that book. Go on the net, Google Maurice Bukayel, the books of Maurice Bukayel. Just cook. But you, be, you will read that book and you will be crying. The information. This man is intellectual. 